So I like to wait a day before I pull the eggs out. Just give the parents a chance to actually take care of them. These guys have taken care of their eggs really well twice. The rest of the time they just ignore them. So they've, they've basically been doing this. They're, they have no interest at all in the eggs. So I'm going to pull them out and I'm going to show you guys what I do for uh, day one egg treatment. First thing you need is a large jar to keep it in. You want the jar to be big enough that if you have something that they're laying eggs on, that it'll fit. So I've got some gallon mason jars that the, uh, the slate that I use fits in real well. You want to go ahead and fill that up with tank water. Ideally from the same tank, uh, because you want the parameters to match so that there's not any issues with the eggs. But all of my tanks use drip change. They all have exactly the same water parameters in them all the time. So I'm just going to grab it out of this larger tank here. Obviously quite a lot of clutter here. So you're going to want to treat your eggs with methylene blue. At least that's my preference. I've got it in a small drip jar just because it's easier to deal with. It's got the built-in eyedropper. It's something I picked up on. I got 40 of them on Amazon or something like that for five dollars. And the instructions for methylene blue are 10 drops per gallon. And this stuff is toxic to living organisms. So I usually do nine and I have pretty good luck. You want to make sure that it's mixed up real well. What I've got here is a piece of plastic, a sponge, which fits the top of my mason jar, and I've got a couple air stones that go through it. I take these, wedge them in, stuff the sponge in, give it a minute until it's a uniform color. A little bit of food in there from when I just fed, but that's, that's not going to make a big difference. It's not going to be in there long enough to really mold. Now you want to make sure that you don't get any of this in your tank because this will kill nitrifying bacteria. So your filters will just, they'll die, they'll start from scratch, and you'll end up with new tank syndrome in your tank. So the next thing we're going to do is going to get our leaves with our eggs in them. We're just going to put them down into the water. Add in our bubblers just to keep an air current going. And you want these jars to stay about 78 degrees because that makes sure that you're going to have about a two day time period before they start hatching and wiggling. So I'm going to take this jar, I'm going to move it into the back of this fry tank here. You've see, you can see I've already removed a whole lot of water from this to make sure that there's room because I don't want the water from the tank mixing with the water in this jar and killing my bubbler filter. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I can't do that with the camera, but I'll, I'll do that. Uh, that's really it. You, you put that in there, you let it sit for another day, and at the end of day two, I usually pull the eggs out. This just lets them develop a bit before they're swimming, before they're moving enough to keep the fungus off of themselves so that I don't have to worry about the eggs fungusing, I don't have to mess with them, I don't have to tend to them constantly the way that the adults would.